This is a nice car, mate. Mate, Rocket, this is. This is uh, the Toyota Hilux, which I was, uh, uh, started driving around a couple of weeks ago and loving it, Rocket. Thoughts on the last game? Obviously, you played the Rebels. Um, you know, give us some good points and some bad points that you can take away from the game. Yeah, I thought our, um, our intent was there to, um, to go out and um, you know, still play a, a pretty positive style of rugby given the, even though the conditions weren't great. Uh, and I think we showed glimpses there, but uh, we, we did adapt quite well uh, when, when that monsoonal rain blew in yeah. at NIB. It, uh, uh, it, was, it was full on, but we tightened up nicely and um, you know, it, uh, going through some vision again yesterday, it, it still hurts and just because of how close we were to um, you know, the, you know, to uh, scoring probably a few more tries and putting the Rebels under serious pressure. You're a Brizzy boy. Um, did you follow the Reds and if you did, who were your idols? Yeah, mate, I, I, I did follow the Reds and um, I still enjoy watching them play and um, yeah, it's, uh, they're, they're a good club and there's been some great people involved in the club over the years and um, I, I think uh, you know, growing up, Ask of idols at the Queensland Reds. I think in my position, like Michael Liner was someone I always mm. enjoyed watching, and just how he could uh, easily control a game. Um, he, he was just all class. Had a really good uh, passing and kicking game, and um, yeah, as I said, his game management I thought was was excellent. And so I looked up to him a fair bit and loved watching him play. Uh, yeah, Todd Ikefu when he came on the scene um, as a young back row was awesome. A very skillful player, um, and then something that I didn't have in my game, Rocket, was speed. So, mate, when you uh, pulled on that red <laughs> jersey, and I saw you on the flanks there, uh, as a speedy winger, I, I really enjoyed seeing you in space, mate. Um, going to the old Ballymore games, I um, personally I loved watching um, Ben Tune and, and um, Chris Latham run around. You know, them guys are big idols for me, and um, and, and going to Ballymore. Back in the day, it was just unbelievable, and the atmosphere they got there was um, you know, something I hadn't seen before, and it was um, definitely a great memory for me. Yeah, it's a good ground, isn't it? And, it is. Yeah. Uh, the, the, there's rumours there that they're going to redevelop the, that yeah, facility, yeah. so nice. hopefully they do. Yeah. State of origin in a couple of weeks again, mate. Game two, we lost the first game. How can the uh, Queensland boys turn it around? I don't like this wee stuff, Rocket. Although I lived my majority oh, years I'm not a Queenslander. in Brisbane, I was born in New South Wales, oh, so I've geez. stuck with them. I enjoyed that first game. That was, that was a good result. Oh, God, but, you're um, a trainer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I think something they've shown over the years is how, how well they bounce back, the Maroons. So I'm sure Kevy Walters will, uh, will get them firing for game two. And, uh, just looking at game one, I think that the New South Wales forwards laid a really good platform for the for the backs and uh, you know, 11, 11 debutants there for the Blues. It was, uh, I, I like the way that Freddie Freddie went with his selections and just um, you know there, there was no history with those eleven debutants and there was a, I, I don't think there was a fear factor there for them. They just they knew um, you know that there was confidence there that they could knew they could get the Maroons. Especially given uh, they'd lost some pretty key players, uh, the Maroons in Smith, Thurston, and Cronk, Billy Slater. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a good time to get them. And, um, Picking guys in form too, isn't he? He is, mate. Yeah, yeah. Which is again, is, is yeah, pretty astute from yeah. Freddie. But it was good to see English step up, wasn't it? Yeah, As was, a leader, yeah, he, had a, he had a great game yeah, and led from the front. Mm. Yeah, he did. Sambo, you've been in uh, Perth probably about two months. What's your favourite spot so far? Well, mate, I've bought you here, Rocket. It's uh, a little Scarborough Beach here. It's um, it's a bit of a hangout from from the family. Uh, the girls love it down here. Just the open spaces and um, a lot of parks. We ride our bikes down here yeah. um, through the skate park, and we haven't uh, dipped our toes too much in the water yet. But we're really looking forward to that as it heats up. Yeah, it's lovely down here. It's um, obviously a lot of the, a lot of the boys live here as well, so found myself here a couple of times um, at the parks with the family as well. So um, it definitely is a, definitely is up there. Good area.
bit off topic here, mate, but we got the uh, start of the Football World Cup, or as we like to call it, soccer. Starts tomorrow, so um, you got a tip for me, or, or your team you're going to be following? Oh, definitely the, the Socceroos. Rocket, it, uh, it's a great occasion, the World Cup, isn't it? And I, I'd, uh, it seems like it's a good opportunity, this World Cup, for us to get out of the pool stages. Uh, so hopefully we can get the result over Denmark and Peru, and maybe out, even upset the Froggies. Um, which would be a, nice. That would be nice, mate. It would uh, be good to see some tears <laughs> on the field. But um, yeah, I, I enjoy watching this. It's a huge event, um, the Soccer World Cup. So I'll uh, get a bit of couch time in, mate. Yeah, nice. So will I. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Sambo. Easy, buddy. Good to see you, mate. See you tomorrow. Yeah.